What's up everybody? So earlier today I filmed this entire video giving you a full review of the paid version of VC. And it was only once I started editing the video that I realized I paid for the VC clinic platform and they have another platform called VC Messenger. I didn't know that when I started filming this video. In my defense, if you go to the VC homepage, they break down the pricing for their software and the pricing that's there only shows their pricing for VC Clinic and not for VC Messenger. You need to go into their different products pages to see VC Messenger pricing. So yeah, everything I filmed in this video kind of doesn't make sense because I thought I was re reviewing the paid version of VC Messenger and instead I was reviewing the lowest tier of VC Clinic. It still seems worth it to me to post this video because I'm sure I'm not the only one that made this error. It really isn't clear on VC's homepage that they sell different products. It kind of looks like they have just the one product. With that said, there are differences between VC Messenger and VC Clinic. First of all, the free version of VC Messenger is not HIPAA secure and doesn't have an option to sign a BAA. The paid version of VC Messenger has the option to sign a BAA, but the only way you can do so is you have to contact a sales representative and you can't just sort of do it on your own. Also, in the video, you'll see that I complain about a lot of features in the VC clinic that feel a lot like a doctor's office. And in retrospect, I think the VC clinic option makes sense for physicians to use. I took a look at the VC Messenger, just the free version, and it operates a lot like Skype. So you add someone as a contact, it sends them an email, they do need to download the software to their computer or to their smartphone, and then create a login. And then once they're all set up like that, you can just call each other when you're logged on, just like Skype. For a lot of you clicking on this, the rest of the video may not be helpful, but if you are kind of curious what VC Clinic is like, I have a full review of it coming up. I hope if nothing more that this video at least clarifies that there's a difference between VC Clinic and VC Messenger. If you're a therapist looking for a telehealth option, you can use the paid version of VC Messenger and go through kind of a rigmarole to make sure that it's HIPAA secure. If you're a physician looking for a platform to meet with your patients via telehealth, I think the VC clinic option is actually really great. And the $49 a month price is very reasonable for all of the features that they offer, which most of us therapists don't need. All right, I hope you enjoy the video. What's up everybody? So we're continuing our series about telehealth. I hope you're finding these videos helpful and my videos going over Doxy and Google Meet were well received. So I thought I would kind of continue that thread. Today, we're gonna take a look at VC. Now I've never used VC before on the provider end and I'm not planning on using it with my clients because Doxy has been working great for me. So given that I've never taken a look at it, we're gonna dive into this together for the first time. I'm gonna sign up and go through the process just to kind of see what it entails so that you can see what it entails. Welcome to Private Practice Skills. I'm Dr. Marie Fang, psychologist in private practice. I post videos offering tools I learned the hard way about starting and growing private practice so that you don't have to. How you doing? Good. There's a lot of cameras. Okay. All right. So let's find ourselves some VC. Here it is. The cheapest option they currently have available as of today, which is Friday, what day is it? Friday, March 27th, uh, they have a $49 a month plan. Now I am a cheapskate, but my Doxy video was so successful that I wanted to use the revenue from that video to go ahead and buy this paid version of VC so we could try it out together. Because if it costs $50 a month, in my opinion, it must be a lot better than the other free options out there. So let's just go through this together. I'm gonna buy it. Oh, I love that they say this right at the beginning. So if you want the HIPAA BAA, they're going to send you instructions for that via email. So let's give it a try. All right, I'm going to fill this out real quick. I don't want to show my information. I'll be right back. All right, we're back just to catch you up to speed. All I did was type in my personal information and my credit card number and all that and uh, clicked sign up. Now we're here. All right, I need to go check my inbox. All right, the activation email has arrived so you need to open that email and complete setup in order for this to work out here's some more sign up forms gotta make a password no, it's just me i am not a physician oh lovely mental and behavioral health i agree and i oh here's the toggle so i need a baa for hipaa compliance so let's click sign up 
Okay, so you can customize your clinic URL, upload profile picture. Boom, you can write a little bio. Next. Ah, send invitations for people to join your waiting room. So it looks like you have a waiting room, which feels very similar to Doxy. Now it looks like you have a couple of options here for how you can send an invitation to your client. You can have VC send the email to your client on your behalf, or you can just copy and paste this bad boy, which seems like this link is really the key here. You can copy that and send it to them in an email. Now let's try the VC email option just to see what that looks like. I'll invite private practice skills, why not? Send invitation. Now I'm gonna open it on my phone because I'm very curious to see if this works on the phone. Okay, there was about a minute of lag time, but I've gotten the email. Okay, here's the invite. Click here to start. I'm not sure I love that it says if there's somebody else in the waiting room or not. That just kind of feels odd. I think it makes sense in a doctor's office, but Usually therapists aren't seeing clients like every 10, 15 minutes with several clients in the waiting room. But let's go ahead and click enter waiting room. Okay, so if I wanna log in on my phone, then I need to download the app. So let's open the app. Okay, so it's giving me an option as the client to sign in with Google, create my own login with VC, or proceed as guest. So let's proceed as guest. Okay, so here's me. Next. Okay, I don't like that I need to do all this. What is the reason for your visit today? This feels like I'm seeing a doctor. I give my consent to participate in this telemedicine consultation. I do appreciate that you they give you a few reminders to make sure you're in a private space. Well, let's click enter the waiting room. All right, I also need to give it permission to access my microphone and the camera. Okay. So I'm logged in as the client right now and I haven't yet logged in as the therapist. So I'm going to click log into VC clinic now on my computer and see how complicated this is. Well, I like this, ready for visit. There's Marie Fang and it shows how long your client's been waiting. Though it's nice that there's getting ready so you kind of know if your client is in the sort of checking in process. How do I get in? I think I just click on this arrow. Okay, I think I need to click this in order to video call. Okay, so now I need to still install VC as the clinician. <sighs> this isn't my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna install it. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it for you. Right now, I'm about 20 minutes into this thing. Okay. I am going to see if I can remember the login I made up. All right, y'all. This is taking way too long. Here's the waiting room. And Marie, can I connect with Marie Fang now? <gasps> hey! So we are officially 22 minutes into this process and we are logged in. Now I appreciate that VC has the BAA option in order to make this HIPAA secure, but man, is this worth $50 a month when there's free options available? What I'm really curious about now is if as the client, if I try logging in from my computer instead of my phone, do I still need to download an app for that? So let's give it a try. Okay, enter waiting room. Again, I wanna see if I can proceed as guest. Okay, so we gotta go through this whole check-in process. This is pretty annoying. I give my consent, continue. So this is confirming that the client does need to download the VC application in order to see their therapist, even if you sign in as a guest. Well, I'm checked in as the client. I I don't love this setup. I, I imagine it's maybe more secure this way or easier to make it more secure, but man, that was a lot of work to check in to see my therapist. I mean, clients have enough trouble just remembering to check their email and to click on the link to begin with. So if there's a whole slew of steps to go through just to log in, I imagine that's gonna be a barrier for a lot of clients. It's almost like there's so many functions available with VC that it makes it a little bit tricky for me as a novice user to use it. Now that doesn't mean it's a bad software, but it's not necessarily meeting what I'm looking for when I'm looking for a teletherapy platform. I'm looking for something that's really easy for my clients to log in, that's easy for me to use, and we can just get on our call really quickly because that tends to be the biggest barrier for clients not logging into teletherapy 
aside from maybe having some trouble finding a confidential space in their home in order to log in. An important reminder, if you haven't caught it in some of my earlier videos, the Department of Health and Human Services have significantly relaxed their laws around HIPAA and what type of platforms you can use for teletherapy while our nation is in a state of emergency. Essentially, if you're not able to access a HIPAA secure software for whatever reason, you can use non-HIPAA secure software, things like FaceTime, in order to meet with your clients via teletherapy. Now, I realize that I kind of bashed VC, and I'm so sorry, I'm grateful, VC, that you're providing this service. If you've used VC and you have any feedback, leave a comment and let us all know what you think of VC. If you're a therapist looking for an option, this might be the best option for you too. So leave a comment below and let me know what platform you've been enjoying using in this season since you've been offering maybe more teletherapy. And until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well. Today's video is brought to you by therapynotes.com. Therapy Notes helps with scheduling, notes, and billing so that you can spend more time with your clients and less time on back office paperwork. Click the link in the description of this video to get two months to try it for free with no commitment. Oh my goodness, please refrain from driving. Well, that, do other people see their doctors and therapists be a teletherapy while driving? <laughs>